Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of DIY Chris. I am Chris, and in this episode, we are gonna solder some sockets to our board. Now, what you're seeing here is the board that we've got so far, plus the sockets that we're gonna put on. And you might be wondering, Chris, what the hell are you doing? These are not sockets that I'm used to seeing. I I've never seen sockets like that before. Well, these are special sockets. These are, these are like, well, they're special to me because I, I designed them. See, my logo's, my logo's right down here. See it? Um, I designed these and then I printed them on my printer. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder these on. And you know why? Because I wanted sockets that are gonna be a different color. I figured, you know, if we're gonna do um, a custom color board, why not do custom color sockets, right? That would fit right in with our, you know, with what we're doing here. So, I figured why not go and uh, do that. And so I designed these. I actually printed them in, in various different colors. Uh, these just uh, are the orange ones that I made, and um, I made some like some green, some purple, because um, I was trying to work out whether or not I wanted to make a black board or a white board or a purple board. Which, by the way, um, on a white board, um, black sockets look really good. But white sockets look really cool. I, I I printed some white sockets and those look really, really amazing on the whiteboard. Um, as did the blue ones that I tried to print. So the uh, the way I'm printing these is just on a uh, on a resin printer. So I had to experiment quite a bit with different types of resin and different combinations of different types of resin, right? So the end result for getting these perfectly the way that I wanted them, um, because what happens when you put in the pins, right? Because you, you print these out and then you put in the, the, uh, the machine pins. And when you put the pins in, you know, the holes are a certain size so that the pins, when they're in there, they kind of are a pressure fit. So with most resins, what will happen is that when you start to pressure fit these pins into the holes, the, uh, the, the resin would crack because it's, you know, it's not very flexible. So I had to find a flexible resin and then I had to find a, another resin, which was more tough. Um, and I started producing mixtures of, so these are actually the result of three different resins. Um, and I, you know, it took a while to find the perfect mix to make these, you know, this way. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result. So I'm actually very excited to solder these in. So now that I've got these all on there, they're all placed, and I think this looks pretty sweet, like the orange on the black, um, so I don't know how well this shows through on the camera, but I, I think that it, it, it gives it a nice contrast. And then especially when we put the black um, uh, ICs in, I mean, this, this thing's just, I think it's gonna pop, it's gonna be awesome. So this, this is gonna be my board. <laughs> so what I, uh, what I usually do here is um, I take another board, and I have, I have this one here, that I actually started populating a while back. And so I'm gonna just flip that over. And then carefully, I uh, didn't think that through. Hang on. So um, what I'll do instead is what I have. That should work. Okay. So I have this mat, and I'm just gonna flip that over, and I feel like. I feel like I lost maybe one or two or a few. Yep. So that's the fun. I could just do one at a time, but where's the fun in that? 
Um, so what's happening here? This one goes here. That one goes here. 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 Let's try that again. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide this out. Okay. Now we are on the right side of the board to be soldering. Okay. So since this board um, these boards are so big and copper likes to um, flex the actually the, uh, the substrate um, which is fiberglass with the copper and because things shrink and expand and stuff these things like to flex right so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push down on the board a little bit as I solder these in just so that they uh, they're right up on the board. And actually, you know what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tack the corners of these. And then once we're done with that, we're going to straighten them up and make sure they're all straight. And then, um, then we're going to come back and do the rest of the pins, okay? So... Should be able to lift this up now and hopefully they don't fall out. Okay, good. Now, if you look, you can see that they're not definitely, definitely not straight. Um, well, a lot of them, most of them actually are straight. The bigger ones are. These, these ones here are a little questionable. And also, I feel like, let's make sure that they're all the way up against the board. Which they're not. So I'm going to do that first. So what I'm doing is I'm heating up the one side and pushing the other. And hopefully by doing that, you should also straighten out because of the way that the, uh, the pins are made. Yeah, it looks like these are straightening out while I'm doing this.
to the ones on the bottom here. I'm not gonna lie, I need to be quick with your finger here. Because uh these pins got hot really fast. Like the resistor is in the way here. Okay, let's do these ones too. All right, that looks pretty decent. So let's go ahead and solder these in.
Oh. All right. We did it. All the sockets are done. That's pretty good. I'm happy with the way those turned out. So, what do you guys think about these uh, orange sockets? Any thoughts? Uh, leave them in the comments down below. It'd be great. I'd just like to get everybody's opinion on, on these. Um, they don't have to be orange in particular. Uh, I can print pretty much any color. All I do is I mix my uh, resin with some pigment and um, yeah, out comes the different color sockets. So anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next episode.